everyone. Welcome to the Arts and Entertainment Podcast. I am your host, Marissa Ware, and I am here with Delina Spratt. Um, I'm a student at GSU uh, with the Film Studies program and nice. journalism as well. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to talk about being in film school, how our experience is, and how we feel we're prepared for the real world. So... For me, as a film major, I really enjoy just like taking my production class and getting hands-on experience. So, what have you liked the most about like being a film major? What would you say is your favorite part? Um, I would say my favorite part about being a film major, at least here at uh, Georgia State University, I it's part of like what you mentioned, the entire hands-on experience. I really like that you get to choose kind of how you go about it. It's not like you kind of get like a little bit of the, you can if you want to get like a bit of a palette. So you want to like get a little bit of everything you can do that but it also encourages you like if you want to focus on film studies you can focus on film studies right. if you want to do like some more hands-on stuff like production and sound mixing you can do that if you want to work on like post-production stuff you can do that so that's what i really like about georgia state like just being able to have like the ability to choose which pathway you go down right so can you tell me a little bit more like about what you do like your club here at the school oh um so i do have a movie watching club and it's open to everybody and um i promise we don't just watch like pretentious art house films uh mm -hmm. recently we've seen fantastic mr fox um we've seen watching the detectives mm -hmm. which is a very unserious rom romantic comedy <laughs> um so yeah we just watch a little bit of everything sometimes um we do have a lot of people in the club that commute so we do try and like keep it open and change the schedule and have something every other day or at least try and do stuff you know online so we can still have that like sense of like watching stuff together so yeah that's a uh, really recently started movie watching club that I've started. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so we're both in an acting class together. So I think you know, being in film, I think it's important to know how to act. So can you tell me like what is your favorite part of acting? What have you learned like being in acting class? Um, I guess something that's been really interesting to me with this acting class. Um, this. The acting class that I've taken is honestly just something that I took because I needed one more class and I was just like, you know, it's close enough to what I want to do, which it's not. But um, I'm really more interested in like the the directory photography kind of side of things. Um, but what I've learned from it is that like acting isn't like just something that you kind of do like on your own. Like I, I've always thought of it kind of like as like something reverent. Of course it is still reverent. I thought of it like as your own solo thing. But um, I never realized like how much it depends on the people around you. Like I'm still just learning that with when it comes to acting with other people within a scene. So including other factors into that, like, you know, crew and stuff like that. Like it's helping me realize like how how much collaboration goes into do these kind of things. Um, yeah. So that's that's been a really interesting part of it that I've really liked. Yeah. Do you feel prepared for your future career? Like how is school preparing you for like the film industry or your film career? Um, I, I would say that it's, it gives a lot of, yes, I, I think it gives you like a lot of, um, I think it's, it's a bit difficult for me to answer. Cause I think like so much of the film industry is like not that dependent on whether or not you go to film school. It's more dependent on experience. So I do think that yes, going to school here is good for networking and also just being able to, being able to like work on projects. You're able to like do stuff at like um, low, low risks. You can work on projects and you can experiment with stuff. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You know, it might've just been like an assignment for like production one or something like that. Um, so I, I think that much is, I think that much does help pre prepare for the film industry because you're, it helps with more confidence, of course. And then it helps you build connections. I feel like something that's definitely helped for me is like telling every single person I meet that I'm a, I'm a film student. And there's a lot of film students at Georgia State. So like half of the time, like they're also film students and you build like a lot of connections that way. So I think that's like one of the best things that comes with being a student in Atlanta, being a film student at, in Atlanta um, that helps prepare you for the real world. Oh yeah, definitely. So I know you said you wanted to go like the directing photography route. So like, have you taken any classes that you feel prepared you for that? And like, what did you learn from them? What did you take away from it? Um. So uh, if anything, I think taking classes has kind of broadened more of what I wanted to do. I know for, sh for certain that I've always been interested in the writing aspect of it, but then also, you know, the entire idea of like lighting and camera work. Um, 
So, but since I've been taking classes, like one class specifically, um, production one, that one honestly like made me realize that I love every aspect of filmmaking, if anything. Um, it's made me realize I really like pre-production, which is incredibly funny to me because that's a lot of like meticulous like planning stuff, and that's not the type of person I am. But when it comes to um, when it comes to pre-production stuff, yeah, I, I've realized with that production one class and being able to work and lead my own projects, I've realized that like I like if anything, it's like broadened more of that than like made anything more specific. But um, yeah. And so last question, do you have any advice for incoming freshmen who want to major in film and media? What would you say to them? Um, for incoming students, I would definitely say, for one, like I mentioned earlier, tell everybody that you're a film student. Tell everybody. Don't worry. It it feels like it gets a little bit annoying, but like, just do it. Just, just do it. And also remind people because... For one, even if they aren't a film student, they might know film students and they can put you in contact with other film students. That's happened to me. That's I've been in the situation where I've been connecting people. Like I don't do sound design, but I know someone that does that. So I think that's definitely one of the more important things. Um, and also make sure to balance your classes. Like don't take all of your electives in the first two years like I did and then wait till the end of <laughs> wait till the end of your degree to start taking the film classes because when it gets down to like some of depending on which classes you take um you start to get like a lot more projects and it gets a bit more harder to balance like I would not recommend taking like um a screenwriting class and a production class and all else <laughs> I definitely wouldn't recommend it so make sure you just balance it don't burn yourself out um have fun with it Tell people you're a film major. Yeah. Because yeah, networking is so important as mm -hmm. a film major, so I agree. And what are some things that you've been working on? So this arts and entertainment podcast is one thing. And also just making my own short films. Last semester, I made Undying Love, which was my narrative short film. And right now, I'm trying to just grow my skill set as a filmmaker, journalist, everything. So I've been kind of a little all over the place, but I've been doing a lot of good things. So I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah, and I can say that she is definitely not giving herself enough credit. She says a little bit all over the place, and she just had, like, her page on the cover of one of our school's news, our school's only newspaper. So, um, so like, props to you for that. Like, Thank you. You're triple threat. <laughs> triple threat. You. More than that. <laughs> More than that. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, um... Oh, that reminds me about you, Album 88. How's that going? Oh, that's going That's going pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I have a shift later tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. Um, I said that sounded sarcastic. No, I'm actually no, looking forward to that. <laughs> I love I love going in late. It's honestly such such a nice vibe to it, like going in that late. Yeah. Um, and they're doing a vinyl thon in about, I think, a month and a half. And I might get the chance to do that. Okay. They're going to be trying to play like nothing but vinyl mm. um, on the radio station for I think about 24 hours at the least. Okay. So might be able to do that. I'm looking forward to that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, Album 88 is our school's radio station. So yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'll see y'all in the next episode.